Hi, welcome to the 26th chapter in Selenium using C Sharp. In this video, we are going to discuss about actions, click and hold and release method. The agenda of this video is click and hold method in actions class and release method in actions class. Now let's see one by one in detail. Click and hold. The click and hold method without parameter will clicks and holds the mouse button at the last known mouse coordinator. Wherein click and hold with the parameter of iWeb element click and clicks and holds the mouse button on the specified element. Now let's see what is release method. Release method without parameter releases the mouse button at the last known mouse coordinator wherein the release with iWeb element releases the mouse button on the specified element. Now let's see how this click and hold and release methods will work. See here I will first select this one and I will click and hold the left button of the mouse and I will leave here so that I first I need to move the mouse position to here and I have to use click and hold method and I have to release the mouse button. Now let's see how to work this. For that I will copy paste first five lines. And I will rename the method as actions click and hold and release. First what I do means first I will click on click and hold from this one and I will move to this 12 and I will release the left button of the mouse. For that first I need to inspect this one here it is having a name 1 control C and actions dot move to element driver dot find element by dot name after that I will use click and hold method without any parameter. Again I will move to the last element that is so I will copy paste this one here I will use release method without any parameter so that here I am using click and hold and release methods both without parameter after that I will copy paste these four lines and now let's run the test case see it has launched the browser first it will move to the 1 and it will move to the 12 like this click and hold and release methods work without parameter. Now let's see first we will click and hold on that first first we will click and hold on here and we will move to element to here and we will release. Now let's see how it will work in the code. I will comment these three lines actions dot here I will pass the web element inside the click and hold method the same parameter after that I will use move to element method and I am copy pasting this one and I will release the left button of the mouse see now I will run the test case see it has launched the browser it will pass the URL and it will select from 1 to 12 
like this we will use the click and hold method with parameter and release without parameter now let's see how both click and hold and release methods with parameter for that i'm commenting these two lines actions dot first i will use click and hold method and i'm copying this this one after that I will use release method and I am passing this web element inside that. Now let's run the test case. See it has launched the browser. It will pass us the URL and same thing it will repeat. Like this we will use the click and hold and releases, release method in actions class. The possible interview questions on this video is how to use click and hold method with and without parameter and how to use release method with and with without parameter subscribe to our channel on youtube like us on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin and finally don't forget to give your feedback in comment section and for the remaining methods of the action classes keep on watching the videos